Hello everyone, welcome to Miss Wetton Science Revision. In this video we're going to look at how to complete equations for the cracking process and identify the formula of a missing product. So to start with, a reminder of what cracking is. Cracking is just splitting up long chain hydrocarbons into short chain hydrocarbons. So we're splitting big molecules of hydrocarbons into smaller molecules of hydrocarbons. And the reason we do that is because the shorter chain, smaller molecules are more flammable, so they're more useful as fuels, and there's a much bigger demand for the shorter chains for the fuels than there is for long chain hydrocarbons, like this one. This one is octane, has eight carbons. Its formula is C8H18. Now, if we perform cracking on this octane, it will split up, and it can split up in a number of different ways, but in this scenario, it's going to split up into butane, which has got four carbons, and then it would also split up into what would be left over, which is butene. So we've got two hydrocarbons there. We've taken one long chain hydrocarbon and split it up into two shorter chain hydrocarbons. Notice that we're taking octane and producing butane and butene. So we're taking an alkane and we're producing one alkane and one alkene. And cracking always follows this process where we have an alkane, a long chain alkane, being converted into a short chain alkane and a short chain alkene. Now we want to be able to write a word and symbol equation for this process. So all we'll do is substitute in the names of the different chemicals. We start with octane and we produce butane and butene. That's the word equation. Then we can also do a symbol equation by using the formulas. We start with C8H18, we produce C4H10 and C4H8. So there we've written a word equation and a symbol equation to represent this process. Now in the exam you might need to do this or you might just need to complete a formula. So here's an example of what you might need to do. We might ask you to complete or identify the formula of a missing product. So we have pentane here, C5H12, it's going to split up to produce propane, C3H8, and then one other product. And they will want you to give the formula of the other product. Sometimes they might ask you for the name, if it's a shorter one you might be asked to name it. This will be a one mark question in the exam usually. We start with C5H12, and we know we're splitting it up into C3H8, and then one other product, and we need to find the formula of that other product. So I think the easiest way to do this when you're first getting your head around it is to actually draw out the carbons and the hydrogens. So pentane has five carbons, and we know that three of those are going to be used in forming the first product, so draw them out. Then you can cross them out of the first one. So out of those five that pentane had, three of them have been used. So how many are left to form the second product? Well, there are two left. So that second product will have two carbons in, so the formula will start with C2. Now we need to do exactly the same, but for the hydrogens. So we've got 12 hydrogens in pentane, and we know that our first product has eight hydrogens in, so it's going to take up eight of those hydrogens. We just need to work out how many hydrogens are left for us to form our second product. And we can see that four hydrogens will be left over. So our second product will have four hydrogens, so this end of the formula will be H4. So we can identify the formula of the product, which is C2H4. Here's another worked equation, worked example, sorry, but this one, you're having to complete an equation rather than just identifying the formula. And it's exactly the same process. So we've got heptane, C7H16, and that is going to split up into, in this case, C4H10 and something else. So you've got to figure out what would be left over. So start with the carbons, we had seven carbons to start with, and four of those have been used up making the first product. Therefore there will be three left over to form your second product, so the first half of your formula will be C3. Then the hydrogens, we started with 16. We used up 10 in our first product, so there will be six left for the second product. So the second half of your formula will be H6. So altogether, the formula of the second product is C3H6. And again, this would usually be one mark question. A 
Okay, here are some practice questions for you to have a go at. The first two are just identifying the formula of the product and the second two are completing equations. So we've got butane producing ethene and one other product. Give the formula of the other product for one mark. A very similar question. Hexane undergoes cracking and splits up into pentene and one other product. Give the formula of the other product. Now the next one you're going to have to complete the equation. So here is part of the equation for the cracking of decane. And they'll write that out for you and leave a gap. And you just need to identify the formula of the product, what would be left over. And then finally, the cracking of octadecane. Again, they're giving you the formula. They're giving you the first part of the equation. You just need to identify the formula of the missing product. Pause and have a go. So for the first one, we started with four carbons. We used up two. We'll have two left. We started with 10 hydrogens, we used up four, we'll have six left, C2H6. In the second example, we'll have one carbon left and four hydrogens, which makes it CH4. In the third one, we will have four carbons left and 10 hydrogens, C4H10. And then in the last one, we'll have six carbons left and 12 hydrogens. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really hope this video has been helpful for you and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!